guys, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be reviewing Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 1. This film came out in 2010 and this is the um, penultimate entry into the um, Harry Potter saga. Before we get started, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, hit the post notifications bell so you never miss any coming videos, and let's get started. So let's just start with talking about the good. So all the characters in this film are fantastic. Um, Alistair Moody, uh, Hedwig the Owl, um, Harry Potter, Ron, Hermione, Voldemort. All the characters are fantastic in the film. Um, Voldemort is very, very creepy in this film. He is possibly, I wouldn't say at his creepiest, but he's definitely, it's, this is definitely one of his creepiest performances. Um, Alistair Moody, um, he has a, a small but big role. Like, he has a smaller role than he did in Goblet of Fire, but his role is bigger in the sense of character. Like, um, with character development, his role is bigger. Um, and also Hedwig. Um, is shown more in this film. Well, obviously not as much as probably Sorcerer's Stone, but he's shown, um, he or she, I don't know, uh, what gender the bird is, but, um, it is, the screen time allotted to Hedwig was perfect in this film. Um, the only bad thing I would have to say about this film is that it it feels a lot like a setup movie for the grand finale. Um, the reason I say this is because everything in this film with the horcruxes and all that stuff, you obviously know that um, it's just, they just wanted to make this movie to be a setup for the next one. I, for me, to be honest, I would have been fine if Deathly Hallows Part 1 and 2 were one film. And then I, for me, I think that would have worked better. I don't think she should. Have, I don't. I don't think the director should have um, should have split the movies in two, just because if you split the movies in two, obviously you're gonna get more money. But well, you could get more money, but there's a better chance of one of them not doing well. Obviously, there's a better chance of one of them not doing as good as the other, which in this case, Deathly Hallows Part One was. Um, the worst one out of uh, the two uh, finales. Um, so yeah, I didn't really think that they should have split it. I think they should have just put it into one since you have one book. I would have been fine with a four hour Harry Potter film, to be honest. Um, and that's about it. Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 1 is a fantastic Harry Potter film. This is um, one of the worst in my opinion but still a very watchable uh, very rewatchable film and i highly recommend it to everyone and i'm going to give this film a b just because it felt kind of like a setup for the grand finale thank you for watching don't forget to hit that like button subscribe to the post notifications bell so you never miss any upcoming videos i'm peter thank you for watching